Big Orange Nation, the Tennessee Volunteers get their biggest victory tonight in about 18 years since Georgia 2006. They defeat the Oklahoma Sooners tonight 25-15. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for supporting the channel. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, you share, you subscribe, you turn on notifications. Tennessee gets that victory tonight 25-15. This is one of those, it, it's typical Tennessee fashion. I feel like I should be ecstatic over the win, but I look back on how it happened, and there's some aspects tonight. I'll be honest, I'm not real thrilled about. Number one, though, let's start with the positive, that defense. That defense was stellar tonight. They gave up 222 yards to Oklahoma. They forced Oklahoma's hand. They had to go to their backup tonight. They went from Jackson Arnold. They went from him. They went from him to uh, Michael Hawkins Jr. Hawkins led them to a couple scores late in this game. But Tennessee, with numerous sacks, they had to turn over early. Jamal McCoy, Joshua Josephs had a huge night with a couple strips for uh, fumbles. This defense was not going to allow this team to lose despite the discrepancy from the offense tonight. I'm really disappointed in this offense tonight. And specifically, I am disappointed with the play calling on this offense. And we'll get to that in a minute here. But I want to praise this defense because they won this football game tonight. Jackson Ross, the punter, had a good night punting the football. He gave Tennessee's uh, defense that chance to pin back their ears and make things happen. Um, I looked at stats tonight on this one. You look at, again, Joseph's two four fumbles. Jermon McCoy, big interception early in that football game. I thought Jackson Moy on the defensive line was great tonight. Tyree West had a great night. It just goes to show you the depth on this defensive line. You never know who from week to week. Christian Harrison, man. Christian Harrison had some big plays tonight as well. The linebackers, Keenan Pilly had some plays. He pinned his ears back, did things. Arion Carter, I thought he did a good job. He led Tennessee with six tackles. Andre Turntine, five tackles. I thought it was a great defensive effort tonight. And I'll be honest, I thought some of the officiating did not go Tennessee's way tonight. Um, Love the effort. Love what they did defensively. I'm going to get to. This was a Tennessee team, though, and this coaching staff not played not to lose this football game. Fortunately, they did not lose it. That offensive game plan was horseshit tonight. Let's let's don't uh, let's don't mince words about it. that offensive game. Listen, now I say that. Tried to tell you guys last night. A lot of you told me differently. When I made the video, I said Lance Hurd is out. This is a big loss for this team. A lot of you told me, oh, Dane Davis, he's played a lot of football. He'll step in. There's no loss. The hell it wasn't. I don't need anybody to sit here and tell me what Dane Davis is at this point, all right? Dane Davis, if he plays guard or center, yeah, he can make it. Dane Davis is not an SEC tackle. I appreciate the guy. God bless the guy for the effort he's given over the years. He's a former walk-on from Sullivan East High School. If you grew up in Sullivan County, you know what I'm getting at at this. Again, God bless the guy. He's overcome. He's done his thing. He's done good things down here. But let's make no mistake about it. He's a former walk-on. He's a former walk-on. That's a big drop-off from Lance Hurd to Dane Davis, and especially when John Campbell went down. Larry Johnson was playing pretty well on it. I hate to say it. Dane Davis is not a power four quality tackle. He's a power four quality guard, possibly center, Tackle, he's not quick enough. He had a rough night tonight. Um, 
if pro football focus grades him out over 50, you know these grades are bogus. And I hate to pile on the guy. I hate to go. But, you know, part of it, I say this offense went conservative, and maybe that's the reason. But I still, I felt like the game plan from the get-go was not good. I didn't feel it was a good game plan tonight. Tennessee, yeah, they went for uh, close to 400 yards tonight. They went for them and pulling it back up now. Uh, excuse me, 345, 194 passing, 151 rushing. One of my keys to victory, I said, if you go for 150, you win this football game. They barely did it. Uh, looking at those rushing yards tonight, Dylan Sampson went from 94. I think Dylan Sampson got the doghouse tonight because they start going to Sean Bishop. Uh, Sampson, 24 carries, 94 yards. Deshaun Bishop, 16 for 65. Nico, 8 for 15. Nico, 13 for 21, 194 touchdown. Um, uh, I that conservative game plan almost made this more of an interesting game than it should have been tonight. I'm grateful for the win. I'm happy with the win. Um, but I'll leave this game shaking my head at like, what the hell were we doing on offense tonight? I don't get the game plan. I get that the defense was doing its thing. So was it a case of we did not trust the, our tackles or was it a case we do not trust Nico because something was off tonight and um, they took some shots, some shots downfield Made them happen. Dante Thornton, a big touchdown. Brew McCoy had a good night. Uh, there was another Thornton pass down the field that was called back. But I just thought from the get-go, it was a conservative game plan. I'm not a fan of it because this is not the Tennessee we've known. Maybe it's breaking in redshirt freshman quarterback. But it goes back to me to last year. You're playing a guy who was a 24-year-old Sixth year senior, you did not trust him. Why are we not putting in the freshman with all this potential? If last year was a throwing the towel year and we're doing the best we can with it, why not put Nico in? Let him have these road environments, let him get used to it. And that way, this year we're hitting the ground running. Josh Heupel specifically said we're hitting the ground running this year. If you're calling that running tonight, we run awfully freaking slow. Love the win. I love it. Love that he was able to get his um, payback, I guess you could say. This was a team tonight that played not to lose. Fortunately, they did not lose, though. Um, if this is what Tennessee's offense is going to be, this is not a national championship contender. Tennessee has a national championship defense, but you wore that defense out so much tonight. They were dominating at the end. I feel like they were worn down. Oklahoma made plays on them because of your incompetence on offense, because we're not going for gains on fourth and one. I don't like that type of offense. And uh, Josh Hypo, a guy who's a risk taker, a guy who is pretty balls to the wall, he went conservative tonight. I don't know if the pressure got to him. I don't know what it was. I'll be curious to see how he manages as Tennessee gets an off week next week. They go to Arkansas. Yes, I'm happy with the win. No, I'm not happy with how they operate the offense tonight. I would be really curious to understand why they went as conservative as they did. Was it Nico? Was it their tackles? Was it? Did Oklahoma force their hand? feel like this is a game it should have been more than it was. They covered the spread. Again, I'm grateful for the victory. But, man, it's painful for me to watch a team go conservative and almost give a team a chance to have a big opportunity at the end on it. Tennessee's 4-0. They're to their off week. They go to Arkansas. They go through a big October. you got to like it. I mean, you got to like what you're seeing out of this defense. Multiple got this line. It is the real deal. The linebackers are better. This defensive backfield is better as well. Guys are making plays. Dermod McCoy, 
making plays. Jacoby Thomas at safety is an absolute annihilator and a bad ass dude. I'm just telling you that right now. He is a bad dude. They've got some dudes on that defense, but I'll tell you what, if the offense goes conservative and they don't try to score, it's going to affect your defense. I hope Josh Heifel learns from this, and this is not an issue going forward. Frank Rock, House of Orange Sports Channel. Have a great rest of your evening, and go Vols. (laughs) 